Israel. For more on this, I'm joined by our international affairs editor, Philip Toe. Philip, what kind of defence strategy is Emmanuel Macron talking about? Well, what we've got here, Annette, is two conflicting ideas about how Europe should defend itself. The bottom line is, for years and years, there were budgetary constraints, cutbacks left, right and centre, and much of the money was taken away from air defence systems, saying, well, we probably won't need those anymore because there's no threat of war. What's happened in Ukraine has changed all of that fundamentally. And Emmanuel Macron wants Europe to be totally independent of any other country around the world. He said what Europe should do is produce its own air defence system. It should be Europe defending Europe. We don't need missiles from other countries around the world being brought in to help defend Europe. We should be able to do it on our own two legs. He has already struck up with Italy. That'll be one of the points I think that will be discussed today with Giorgio Maloney, a system called MAMBA, which is a, a Franco-Italian uh, defence system which is currently in uh, deployment in Ukraine since earlier this year, uh, which has been quite successful. What Emmanuel Macron wants to do is to build on... French-built Mistral short-range missiles, which are quite effective, as they've shown in Ukraine, to create a defence system that will keep Europe safe. He says that is the best way that Europe can uh, defense it, defend itself. That idea has been brought up by several European countries. Estonia, Hungary, Cyprus and Belgium have already signed up for what Emmanuel Macron has put forward as that idea. That's why he said there's been some progress on all of that. But there is a fly in the ointment, if you like, and that is Germany. Now, you talk about Germany, and what Macron is proposing is in stark contrast to what Berlin's been talking about. So what exactly are the Germans talking about? Well, what the Germans say is that it, they need to go quicker. They say that there has been too, too many years spent not doing enough. Uh, that's why they want to uh, create a different system where they are reliant not only on German-built missiles in the short range, but they want United States missiles in the medium range, and then they want Israeli missiles in the long range. These Israeli missiles, which have uh, a range of about uh, 2,400 kilometres, they are called Arrow 3 missiles. They say with those three different systems together, that is something that would be much more efficient in protecting Europe. Uh, that has been bought by several other European nations, particularly uh, the Baltic states say they're interested in it. The United Kingdom has signed up for that agreement, 17 countries in all. Uh, so they say that is what we should be doing. Uh, the bottom line, I think, as far as that's concerned, is that Germany wants to remain in uh, a good light with the United States. It wants to keep up its uh, exchanges with the United States as well uh, on a much more uh, exchange level on commerce, for example. Uh, and it says, well, if we get into difficulty, the United States will always be there in the wings to come and protect us. That is not the message coming out from France right now. So uh, we've seen this uh, Le Bourget air show yesterday with uh, 18 uh, different European defence ministers there, a lot of uh, talking behind the scenes, signings of deals. But when push comes to show, I think that the, the French proposal is not the one that has got the favours at the moment. That's the one that Emmanuel Macron is pushing. There are two other issues that are also bones of contention between France and Germany right now. One is France pushing Germany to do away with its reliance on fossil fuels and to be more dependent on uh, nuclear fuel. And the second one is France being in favour of Ukraine joining NATO. That is something that at the moment uh, the Germans are not so much in favour of. So a bit of a confrontation between the two countries on several different fronts right now. Philip Toll, thank you for that.